almighty. I can't kill it. I'm ready to go. Rubbish! <laughs> it's a baby. I hate bullies, and that's what he is. Absolutely unfair. Gino's so not happy. The jungle's no place for the faint-hearted. Only the strongest can survive. And that struggle never stops here on I'm a Celebrity. Get out of here! Enjoyed the X Factor! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Australia. Get ready for some Saturday night telly with a difference. Tonight, we've got the latest chapter in the battle for immunity, a seriously homesick celebrity, and some A list name dropping. Plus, two people given a performance so strange, so downright bizarre, you won't be able to look away. No, it's not Jedward. You've had them already. We're talking about an unforgettable Bush Tucker trial. You do not want to miss it. Although, funnily enough, it does feature a couple of oddballs. Very oddballs. Not so long ago, they were attached to a kangaroo. Yeah, but before all that, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Before all that, back to base camp. Now, when we last saw them, there'd been a row between Joe and the rest of the group about dinner. It wasn't pretty, but that's now in the past and it's, it's time to move on. There's no need for us to rake all of that up again. What's that? We are raking it all up again. Oh, fair enough. Here it is. Compliments to the chef again. That was shit. But she did her best. No, well, that's not good enough. She should never been allowed to cook. End of story. It's called teamwork. It's a up. Well, I would not want to be in your team then. You said that she was an absolutely crap cook and shouldn't have been allowed anywhere near the pot. If you had a problem with me, Joe, I'd prefer for you to say to me. Sabrina. Yes, Joe. I really am sorry if I upset you. What's for breakfast, Sabrina? I don't know. I don't feel like cooking this morning. Ah, oh, that's not happening. You are cooking. Oh, sorry. Honey. I feel so much pressure now. Nope. Yesterday was a very eventful night. Joe said that dinner was disastrous and how, you know, I was only good for washing up. There was a bit of a bit of a uh, bit of a you know chat last night about the food. Oh my you god! Out for mouth. I think I managed to get one thing that sounded sensible. I think I just babbled and raged. You said your point probably six times, but it never registered once. Didn't. I have a problem, Jimmy, with somebody being hit upon. Yeah, if, sure. If that person Listen, is I hitting us in the wrong, I'll, I'll defend. I hate bullies. It's just diabolical, and that's what he is. I'm yeah. afraid. I genuinely think that he's a man who is utterly selfish and I think he's a man who doesn't have the warmth that I see in my other campmates. And I had my first little volcanic eruption. Yeah. Last I hope it's your last, Joe. That's all I'd like to say. It was nothing to do with the food. It was nothing to do with anything. It was just, I think, what it was. I thought, I hope they throw me off now because I'm ready to go. <laughs> nothing to do with anybody. Oh, well, okay. I think it's just that the venom that was... Oh, not venom, just a, the bit of a rage. It wasn't far off venom, to be honest. No, no. Do you know what? But that was yesterday. And anyway. today is today. I personally, uh, I think I may have lost it yesterday, for whatever reason, and I regret it now because, I mean, realistically, we all got to stick together. I, I can't forget what you said, but I'm prepared to draw a line underneath it so that we can have a compliant and happy camp. But the content of your delivery and argument yesterday left my stomach turning, Joe. You said some despicable, reprehensible stuff. I'm holding a grudge. Today, I'm, I'm like an elephant. I don't forget. Oh, no. oh God. I've had enough of outdoors now. Oh, I think it's going to be a bad day today. 
It's weird without Stu this morning. Oh, yes. It's weird without waking Strange, up. Strange, isn't it? Without my family this morning, that's what I feel. Oh, no, love, I can it's tell really you. It's really bad today. I can tell you're a bit down, my baby. A bit I know. bad today. It's one of those days. Just woke up going, oh, I need my family. Desperately, desperately aching in my tummy and my heart for them. The cuddle. No, I'll sit here. Make me worse. Okay, bad. Thanks, darling. Have a little cup of tea in a minute. Yeah. Take our mind off stuff. Your mind off stuff. Or our mind off stuff. Lucy's feeling a little sad, and I think it has something to do with her child, her three year old, and not being home. And Lucy, come here and give me a hug. It'll make me worse. Give me, give me a hug. <laughs> I woke up just feeling mm -hmm. really crap. Mm -hmm. It's just a rough day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thanks, George. Bless her, poor Lucy. It is hard being away from home. Yeah, I know. And having one of those yeah. days today yeah, as well. Yeah, I, I just, well, I'm the same. I, I'm, I miss seeing you too. Just miss, miss seeing your smiling face when I come in from work, you know. Yeah. Well, I need you too. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. You're right. Yeah. Dave from Fresher sends his love. Oh, how is he? Yeah, he's all right. But apparently, takings have gone down 50% since we come 50%. over here. 50%. It's a shame, isn't it? Poor lad. A lovely fella. Bit, he is, huh? Now, after a week down there, food is constantly on their minds. Their stomachs are empty. They're absolutely starving. And for Katie and Kim, things were about to get even worse. Mm, you decided they were going to have something to eat. Just don't be disappointed. I'm, I'm actually telling you for once. I don't know if I could do all this. Katie feels completely demoralised because day in, day out, the British public are voting to see her squirm. I reckon they hate me now. They love it, don't they? You're yeah. fun, they you're sexy, it. they love yeah. it. They love it. Kim, yeah. we need at least three, yeah? Do it. Kim, if there's something that's disgusting for you, know that we will get by I without it. Thank you so much. I have no worry that Kim can pull it off. She's like the backbone of the Brits. You know, when a war comes on, they rise up and handle anything. Well, that's, that's Kim. Yeah. Goodbye. Nice Give it to him, babe. I suck it to him, kids. Suck it to him, babe. I'm not frightened, because it's not going to kill me. I'm repulsed, utterly repulsed. I keep thinking, oh, oh. I said, I've even bought a toilet roll, because I, I thought if I puke, it'll go in there. I can just try my best. I'm not very optimistic about this one, I must admit. Oh, Kim, how are we going to do this? I think it's gross. Gross, dear. I think you'll do so well. I won't, I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's rice. <laughs> I'm not putting those things down my gob. <laughs> 